The Wizard of Oz celebrates its 50th anniversary today on August the 15th, 1939. It premiered at Grauman's Chinese Theater in Los Angeles. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. Fifteen-year-old Judy Garland got to play Dorothy. Jack Haley was the tin man. You're, tin man. You're looking at him man. The boy who shoots the And joining us this morning are Judy Garland's daughter, Lorna Luft, and Jack Haley, Jr. The film is still playing at Harry's Floorsheim Shoes on Broadway, <laughs> where it is the only movie that makes four-year-olds stop dead so that you can put things on their feet. And they just keep running it you're, continuously. You're no, I am not. I'm sure they must be paying royalties. I hope so. And if they aren't, Harry is going to get a letter. <laughs> but anyway. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How many times have you seen The Wizard of Oz? Gosh, I've seen it, I don't know how many times, but, but a lot. I've seen Did it. Did you say hundreds? I mean, was this something that... Uh, probably. You know, uh, it, I watch it every year. And of course, now we have the video. And so I've seen it a lot, a lot. As often as your son? Oh no, my son. See, this is my I'm son, now, now my son quotes from it. The other day I went by his room and his room was this total mess, right? And I looked it in and I said, you have to clean up this room. You can't, I can't do this anymore, you have to clean up this room. And he had a little friend over. As I walked by, his, he looked at his little friend and said, pay no attention to that woman behind the curtain. <laughs> This happened at school, right, when, when oh, his teacher Well, yeah, in. and at school, we were, he was at school, and, and the teacher was showing the book of The Wizard of Oz and held it up, and they said, well, who's this? And the children said, the Tin Man. They said, who's this? They said, the Scarecrow. And they said, who's this? And they said, the Lion. They said, who's this? And my son was said, Grandmother. <laughs> and they said, no, 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 that's Dorothy. He said, no, it isn't. It's Grandmother. I said, don't argue with him. <laughs> and you, uh, Jack, you were actually on the set, right? You, mm -hmm. Your dad took you on the set. I was set. about five years old, and... Uh, my, uh, he had to go out one day and do some pre-recording because he, he was new to the picture and uh, so uh, he left me with with her mother and uh, really? yeah, she poured me tea in the dressing room but uh, the sight of that set was just unbelievable the, the colors it was Munchkin land was the was the oh, set he took there. me to you saw the original yeah Munchkinland. and uh, why when you you said to someone before you got on the air that, that they were changing the colors during that period what did that mean? Well, it was new, new Technicolor. I mean, it was, uh, no one had ever uh, uh, tried to do anything like this. The, uh, the picture took on its own momentum because uh, everybody was experimenting. And, uh, uh, but the, when you walked onto that set and saw they had like every arc light in town, uh, it just blew you away. It, it, and one of the little Munchkin people that were, she was about 13, she got in, she lied about her age and, and, <laughs> and got the job, and, you know, it's still a depression. And uh, she walked on the set and it was so beautiful, she cried. She thought it was I so I gather lovely. a lot of the Munchkin people were quite sexy and were pinching each other and doing all no. kinds of, no. no, this is totally not myth. true. Myth. <laughs> yeah. Bad, bad myth. No, you wait a second. We have another thing. <laughs> no, no. No, no. Yeah. And Judy. They all have lawyers. They, they all have lawyers. Well, anyway. Well, the story. Never mind. No, but you know what's funny? But I've never ever thought of of The Wizard of Oz as a children's film, because it's 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 frightening, and it has a message for all of us, and and. I, it's such a one because everybody around the world has their own Wizard of Oz story and I'm so glad that the movie is getting the recognition now that it so well deserves and I remember when I first saw it and I, I guess I was about seven my mom had come to New York and we had someone who kept saying your mother's gonna be on television your mother's gonna be on television so I started to watch this movie and the monkeys and all of that happened and I started to get so scared and I started to cry and she called from New York, and I was on the phone, hysterical, saying, the monkeys have taken you to New York. <laughs> and she said, no, the monkeys didn't take me to New York. <laughs> no, no, no. And from then on, she, we never watched the film alone. She always watched it with us, because it's a really scary film at times yeah. for kids. More stories in a moment with Lorna Luft and Jack Haley, Jr., right after this. You mean you were terrified? Wizard of Oz. You find the wizard of Oz. If ever a wizard of Oz. If ever a wizard of Oz. My time. And as for
for you, my fine lady. It's true, I can't attend you here and now as I'd like. But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty. And your little dog, too. <laughs> Margaret Hamilton, The Wizard of Oz had its premiere 50 years ago today. We're talking with Judy Garland's daughter, Lorna Luff, Jack Haley Jr., <clears throat> Jack Haley's son, Jack Haley Jr. <laughs> you have got to tell me this story about your mother having tea with Margaret Hamilton. Who has a green face in that yes. scene we just saw. Yes, she, and, and Mama, I guess someone had given her a tea set, so she was really into tea. So she would spend this, all this time fixing up this great tea set. And she and Margaret Hamilton would sit on the set, and Margaret Hamilton was one of the nicest ladies ever. Former school and teacher. She was just you could lovely. Never convince me of that. She, no, she really. She was just lovely, and so they would have this tea. And just as Margaret Hamilton would lean over to the the green makeup fell on the tea, she never drank the tea. <laughs> she never got to drink any of that. She tea. made up for, for the rest of her life by trying to sell Maxwell House coffee. Right. <laughs> now, your mother wasn't the first choice. No, no, they wanted Shirley Temple. <laughs> they did. They wanted Shirley Temple for Dorothy. And your dad wasn't the first choice. No, Buddy Epson was. Uh... Uh, shot two weeks on the picture. And you he still hear a little bit of his voice in the movie. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Is he? Well, he was allergic to the makeup. He got a, a terrible toxic infection from from the powder. Aluminum dust was put on his face, and one day he. I just spoke to him a couple of weeks ago. One day he woke up and he couldn't move, and they took him to the hospital. <laughs> How in character? And then the next thing he knew, uh, Mervyn Leroy, the producer, was in the corridor yelling, "Why can't? What's wrong with him? Get him up. We have a movie to shoot." And. Uh, but they were unhappy with the director, so they replaced the director, replaced Buddy Epson, because he was sick, but never let anybody know. My father didn't know. My father went, he got a, you know, a call saying, report to MGM. He was at Fox. He was at another studio. He said, get over there. You're going to play the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz. So he gets there, and uh, he asks Bert Lars, a friend, Ray Bulge. He said, what? He, he knew Buddy Epson's talents. Why couldn't Buddy cut it? And uh, finally, weeks went by, and they said, well, what, uh, uh, he, he said, please, somebody tell me what, what's going on. I said, well, the, he, the makeup poisoned him. He said, the makeup I'm wearing poisoned <laughs> <laughs> We're going we're gonna to show Buddy Epson right now. Just because I'm oh. presuming that I can't <laughs> human And that's the voice? Yeah. No, my father re recorded that, but some of the, when they go down the road, that's often his voice. Mm -hmm. you, you were talking about the numerous directors. Five. I, five directors. Mm -hmm. And who got credit for it? Victor Fleming. In the, the same year. Victor Fleming. In the same year that he got credit for Gone with the Wind. Mm -hmm. He won the Oscar for that. Yes. Really? Yes. And this How would you like those two credits in wow. one year? But this movie didn't take very long to shoot, did it? Oh, yeah. No, it took yeah. six months or whatever. But at the end, uh, he, he went off to do Gone with the Wind, <laughs> and uh, King Vidor, was a friend of his, came in and, and directed all the Kansas scenes and never got credit for it. Jack Haley, Jr., Lorna Love, thanks so much. It's so nice to hear the stories, and of course, no tribute would ever be complete without this song by this singer. Um. Drops away above the chimney tops That's where you 